In this video, we'll see how to get started writing a Ruby program in your Mac. So the first thing we need to do is open up our terminal. So click on Spotlight and just type terminal and click on the top hit and you will have the terminal uh, window open up. The terminal is an interactive uh, screen that lets you interact with your Mac machine. So you can do things like view the current path that you're in, PWD, type in PWD. And if you do that, you can see users forward slash OPIM4895 in this case. And in your computer, it might say users forward slash your name, your uh, uh, computer's account name. Now, you can also see, you can also type in something like ls. ls is a command that lets you list all the files and folders within the current directory or current folder. The current folder is of course users forward slash opim4895. Now, what we want to do is create a new folder called learn Ruby. To do that, I'm going to use a command mkdir, mkdir space learn Ruby, one single word, learn Ruby. And when I do that and press enter, now if I type ls, you will see that a new folder called learn Ruby has been created. Now you can move into this folder and uh, to do that you can type in cd space learn ruby. Now cd stands for change directory. So you're changing directory into learn ruby. And now if you do pwd, you will see that you're inside users forward slash opim4895 forward slash learn ruby. So from users forward slash opim4895, which we were in earlier, we are now in users slash for, uh, for slash opm4895 for slash learn Ruby, which is the folder we just created a little while ago. And if you ls in this, you will see that it does not contain any files yet. And we're going to put our first Ruby program inside this learn Ruby folder. To do that, we need to open terminal. So I'm going to click on spotlight um, and open text edit this time, not terminal, text edit and click enter. Text edit is a text editor that is supplied for free with your Mac machine. Now, the first thing I want to do is to go to format um, at the top of text edit in the menu bar of text edit and make it a plain text, make plain text. So if you click on make plain text, then your text edit file will become a plain text file. And you can type in your program inside this. You can say P-U-T-S hello world, which is your first Ruby program. So I'm just going to say P-U-T-S puts space within quotes, hello world, close quotes. And now go to file in the text edit menu and save. And when you click save, it's going to ask you for the location where you should save it. And now you need to navigate to your OPIM4895 or in your case, the name of um, the main folder where you created your learn Ruby subfolder. So click inside learn Ruby. And once you're there, you can change the file name to test.rb. You can call it whatever you want. I'm just calling it test.rb over here. Again, please note that this file is to be saved inside OPIM4895 and inside Learn Ruby. I'm choosing OPIM4895. That's because that is the path that's on my machine here. In your case, it might be your login name. It could be your first name, last name or something like that. And within that, click on Learn Ruby, which is a folder that you just created and then change the name to test.rb. Okay, having done that, you can now save it. And now this file has been saved inside your learn Ruby folder. And to test that, you can type in ls again. And now you'll see a single file called test.rb. And you can run this file using the Ruby programming language by typing in Ruby, R-U-B-Y space test.rb and press enter. If you do that, it'll return hello world, which is the text that was uh, put test 
in your program so you said you said put as hello world and you got hello world here so if that works that means you have successfully created and run your first ruby program in your mac let's just do this once again for practice so i'm going to close this file here and i'm going to open text edit again and now that this is open i go to format make plain text and now i'll say put as within quotes my second program close quotes go to file in text edit and save it's going to ask you for a name again go to your correct folder learn ruby and you can call it test2.rb this time just to distinguish it from the earlier file click save and now if you go back to your terminal and type ls you will see two files in it the first one that we created a little while ago and the second one, second one that we just now created and you can again run ruby space test2 dot rb and it'll return the second piece of text that you entered in your second program so hopefully that gives you a good overview of how to get started writing programs ruby programs on your mac thanks for watching